This is about as exciting as it gets. We yes. have yes. Nate and Dave from the Food Fighters in the studio. Yeah. The round of applause yeah. started by Dave Gall himself. Yeah, I'm just happy to be here. I don't have one of these coffee things, and so I'm, I'm good to go. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, look, uh, obviously something that's got a lot of attention in Australia is the Beaconsfield Miners yeah. song. Like People have you know, loved a, that whole story, and that you guys have included that song. But while you're here, have you been scouring the Australian papers to see if there's any other ideas for songs? Yeah, you know, well, I'll tell you what, man. That's a good like, question. Like lawyers at a craft yeah. scene. <laughs> three, of songs, three of the songs on the new record were written here in Sydney when we were here for the opera house mm. gigs we did last year. And uh, this place is like... You it's know, next Seattle, man. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> hot. How did you first hear about the guys in the mine and then sort of through to uh, getting a song on the album? Well, they... Um, they were down in there for a few days, and I guess when someone finally contacted them, they wanted an iPod with their music on it. Mm-hmm. So, so when that came out in the press, I well, we hadn't heard about it in America yet. It wasn't big news in America, yeah. but someone down here sent me an email and said, uh, hey, I don't know if you're aware of what's going on, but these guys are down there, and this is what's happening, and they wanted your music. And I was really touched, you know? I mm-hmm. felt like... It, it was really, that was really important to me. I, I felt like maybe our music was, um, you know, was doing some good. So I wrote him a note and I said, when you come out, let's have a couple of beers, let's get together, come to a show, hope you're well. And uh, and then when we came down for the for the opera house shows, uh, the night before, Brant was coming to a gig. And I knew, mm. I knew he was coming, so the night before I sort of wrote this little acoustic ditty, just an instrumental, and, and played it that night and dedicated it to him. And then afterwards, uh, he and his wife came over to our hotel bar, and we hung out, had a bunch of drinks, and and I think I promised that I'd put it on the record. Like, oh yeah, I did this. <laughs> <laughs> are you the sort of person that say if you're at, at a club and and they drop a Foo Fighters track, are you embarrassed by that, or do you like would you get up there and dance for that <laughs> it's track? Pretty embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we bring the CD with us. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah I know the act of Yeah. <laughs> What about in the karaoke bar? Ever got up and? Uh... I have actually done it once. It was right after our gig, and so we'd already been drinking, and we were standing outside, and like "Learn to Fly" came on or something, and there was some frat boy in his backwards baseball hat trying to sing along, and me and Taylor and Chad just like broke in the front door. This <laughs> club full of people were like, "What the hell?" And I just went and grabbed the mic out of the dude's hand. I was like, "Look into the sky!" <laughs> and they were just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> It was killer, and then all night and we just we just took, we stole the mic for like an hour. It was great. <laughs> Tell us like about the new album. Where, where are the Foo Fighters at right now? Like what what's going on with you guys? What, what what's this new album all about? Well, um, we've been a band for a long time. It's been about twelve or thirteen years, and it, we got to the point where it's just all about making music. You know, it didn't matter what kind, with what instrument, just beautiful melodies and good lyrics and. You know, if it's going to be a rock song, then it's got to, you know, it's got to s- slam your ass, you know. That was a weird thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, sorry. Well, but, you know, but if it's an acoustic I, song... I, I said that to him in a prison movie. I'm <laughs> sorry. I can't I write record reviews. Acoustic song analogy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let me it's write the bio. Song, it's, it's an ass slammer in this album. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you, know, you know, you just... Well, we're just trying to make good music, and it, yeah. then that's what keeps us going. That's why we're still here after all this time. It's been a pleasure to catch up with you. We hope you have a very safe flight back Thank home. you. And we'll see you back here with some live touring soon. Soon enough. I don't have headphones, so I'll be talking really loud. <laughs>